Hey folks, it's Laura with Rain Tree Nursery. And this is one of the coolest vines I see growing. This is a passion flower. Its Latin is Passiflora. It's usually grown as a flowering vine. It does make fruit, however, and it's a member, a distant relative of the citrus family. There is a lot to like about this plant and not just the super cool bloom, which I have always thought looks like something from another planet. It is gorgeous. This amazing tropical vine is actually hardy down to USDA zone six, where it will die back to the ground each year and then spring up from the roots. What it really wants is full sun, lots of heat. You can grow it in the ground or in a pot. You'll have a better chance of getting fruit if you grow it in a really hot area. And what it really wants is nicely drained soil that's very fertile. This is a really big vine when it's happy. In very warm climates, USDA zones eight, nine, and 10, it can grow up to 30 feet long. If you're in a colder climate where it dies back to the ground each year, you can usually expect to get eight or 10 feet of growth out of it each season. Passion flower is a self-fruitful plant, so it does not need a partner in order to set fruit. Getting that fruit means you need to be growing it in a very warm location, but the flowers come everywhere you grow it. These fruit will ripen from midsummer onward. They are ripe when they drop off of the vine and fall to the ground. And you can even let them continue to ripen past that point. The more green the fruit is, the less sweet it is. It can turn brown and even start to shrivel. And it's very sweet at that time. This lovely flower wants a lot of babying to get established. You want to make sure to fertilize the area heavily with compost and well-rotted manure when you plant them. You want to make sure to water the new plants twice a week whenever it's hot. And when you do choose to fertilize it, you can either use a fertilizer that's heavy on the phosphorus, the last of those three digits, to encourage blooming, or you can use a fish emulsion, a liquid fish fertilizer, for a general even fertility. Once they get established, they're not terribly heavy feeders, but to get them going, you really want to treat them right. And it's that simple. Thanks for joining us. It's Laura from Rain Tree Nursery, and I'll see you next time.